What's up guys, it's your boy Michael out here with another video working on the Jeep. Working on a good old Jeep now. One thing I would like to say, there has been some changes to the Jeep since you last saw it. We just did a front license plate delete. Replaced it with this nice looking Jeep plate because they did screw it onto the bumper. And I don't want to take it off because I don't want ugly screw holes. In the front, so I figured, well, what's the next best thing I can do? Put a freaking Jeep logo on the front, duh. All right, so the other thing that we did, um, and this video is not going to be out yet. I've already recorded the first half of it, and that is the rock lights. Uh, we do have mic tuning rock lights on all four tires. Um, the back tires, though, um, as you can see, they're in there, come down, they go up. The problem is. I only got them up to here, like I fed them up through here, they got this far, and then I, they, I couldn't get them all the way over there. They did that on both sides. I ordered some extensions and only one of them came. Um, the next one will be here on Tuesday, which is after the new year, so sadly that video will have to come out next year, which we started it literally before Christmas. Like on Christmas Eve we started the project, so anyway. Um, and one other thing I will show you is that we kind of, kind of had to rig, kind of had to rig one of them because these stainless steel screws are 5 16 screws and not quarter screws and so they were a little big for the holes. I kind of had to hollow out the holes a little bit. Well, I broke this one. Like, here's the screw as you can see right here. And then you got the light. Well, I broke off where that screw goes in on this side. So in order to keep it from twisting, I have a metal conduit strap holding it in so yeah anyway we're gonna today we're gonna put on a light bar or, oh you can see where my i'm like half asleep today we're, we're putting on a roof rack okay we're not putting on a light bar okay we're putting on a roof rack no well maybe a light bar and maybe another one but for now a roof rack this is a uventure roof rack um my dad picked this up for like 30 bucks off of Amazon because the box is open. Um, and then they returned it because it was not the right roof rack that they wanted. Um, so my dad bought it. It's like, you know, you know, 30 bucks. So we're going to check it out because most of these roof racks out here are like $150. So we're going to check out what this cheap roof rack does. It looks nice. It looks like it's got... um. A little visor and everything, a windbreaker, so anyway, yeah guys, I'm just gonna kinda um you know put this camera down for a minute and then I'm gonna install this and then I'll show you guys the finished product. So yee. Alright guys, so we're back in the garage. Finish the roof rack, check it out. Ain't that dope. That's freaking lit, dude. I love it. So I'm gonna climb over onto my door. <laughs> climb up here. Let me show you kind of let me show you guys kind of what it is. So it's three parts, all with these rubber gaskets holding it together. Uh it was one screw short in the packaging, so this is the one part that wasn't screwed down. I'm not I'm not worried about it. It's uh so right here we've got it's like a rubber bracket that goes up against this sliding bar. And then a U-bolt, which bolts in with these things right here. Got them pretty tight. I'll probably give them a quick wrenching, um, you know, before I take it out on the road. Oh, shit, almost fell. I'm climbing up the back side of a ladder. Not very smart. But, uh, yeah, um, it looks awesome, dude. Uh, I love it here. I'll just kind of do a little walk around. You know, I do apologize. I still got tools everywhere. But, uh... I love it. Looks dope, dude. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna leave this video with that because I'm probably not going to be driving anywhere tonight, at least not in this. I'm probably gonna take the Duramax and uh, go to a fireworks stand. It is the day before New Year's Eve, so 
it's New Year's Eve Eve, so I've got to get, um, you know, fireworks and food and stuff for a party I'm having tomorrow. You already know. Hopefully, I might have like three or four friends over, not very many, but anyway, yeah, so Jeep's looking sexy right now. Um, as you can tell, the flags are off right now. Um, I'd, it's, it's been snowy and crappy out here in, in North Utah, so, uh, in Northern Utah, so, you know, we've, I haven't really been flying the flags. It's been nice the past two days, I've just, I've been working so much, I've probably driven this Jeep once, and I drove it at night to the gym, and I didn't feel like throwing the flags on, so, you know, it was crappy for like two weeks straight, and then it got like in the 40s and 50s, all, like in one day it got to like 52 degrees, real nice outside, I could have flew the flags, I just... I didn't want to. I didn't want to throw them on. It didn't make much sense to me. Especially because the weather report was that it was going to get worse later on in that day. So I didn't want to throw them on and then have it stuck outside when it was snowing. So anyway, um, that's what we got for now, man. The Jeep is looking great. Um, it's, look, it's, looking, it's looking very, very sexy right now. I like it. I might have to move the roof rack forward just a little bit as you can see. I mean, it's a little bit far back from the light bar, but the light bar has got to be fixed too. I mean, there's, like as you guys can see here, I've never covered this, but this light bar, when I got it, was missing this screw on both sides. And so that is actually supposed to tighten it down and then it's supposed to be able to adjust. And it's supposed to sit up like that, as you can see. But instead, because of how it is, it sits like that and uh, points down. It's not, it's not very effective, but it kind of is what it is, so you do what you can. I mean, I've looked everywhere for bolts for that thing, and really I can't find any unless I just want to order a new light bar, and I, I really don't want to order a new light bar, to tell you the truth. So, anyway, guys, um, I'm going to leave this video at that. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below in the description. And until next time, guys, this is your boy Michael signing out. Peace. We are the world